Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I'm Dr. Malin Sinde, MD Pediatric from Ensobar. So I welcome you to another episode of our next uh, preparation series. As next is going to replace all the exams from uh, upcoming years, and it will serve as a gateway for FMG exam, the licensing uh, to uh, just getting exam, and also for the Indian medical graduates uh, to get set into PG. So it will serve uh, both the purposes. So I had previously released the introductory video. So in today's video. Uh, we will talk about what we can expect in next exam that what kind of questions and how should we prepare and how should we proceed so this is the first uh, video of the preparation series so this is a dilemma faced by mbbs students and interns because there are so many questions that are still unanswered and we are still waiting because it's it is still uh, in a draft process and the official notification is yet to be circulating two days back about change in the marking scheme but again nmc had released one document saying that is a fake document so we have to stick to the old scheme which was released by uh, which was in the draft so just uh, a quick introduction about so this exam will be a three days exam uh, in day 1 there will be uh, around <clears throat> uh, 180 questions once uh, 120 from medicine and allied subject the time will be given 3 hours then there will be a lunch break followed by uh, pediatrics in the uh, evening for one and a half hours that is 90 minutes 60 questions day 2 in morning you'll have to write surgery and light subject of 120 marks and uh, evening ent of 60 marks uh, then on day 3 obs gyne uh, morning session 120 questions and post lunch you'll have ophthalmology so we, you will have 60 questions from ophthalmology also what uh, it was said that 10 questions of each uh, in each stream will be from the basic sciences and 10% will be from the uh, preventive sciences and public health now as the pattern of exam is changing what type of question to be expected so what we are seeing over the past years is the pattern is being evolving from a data based and more uh, from recall based uh, questions to more of a clinical uh, exam with the kind of questions which are uh, actually used to um, i mean asked in usmle type of question and their names and now uh, completely they are introducing it in a uh, upcoming exam so what uh, what will we expect what kind of question paper are we expecting so as it is being said that this will be more of a clinical based uh, paper so you'll get a lot of, lot of clinical scenarios and you will have to integrate a uh, lot of information to reach to the answer definitely there will be a lot of image based question the images about the like histopathological images surgical gross specimen then there will be uh, instruments and there will be lot of things that will be asked so having a good command on image based question is also very essential and integrated questions as i said that to solve a particular question you will you will be needing knowledge from multiple subject it's not like one subject would be enough for uh, answering a question and again as i said you similar type of question and aims will have a upper hand why i'm saying this because as you know that inct earlier there were different aims pgi jipmer and nimhans question uh, exams were there but now all uh, exa- all these uh, exams are now clubbed into inict and from next year even inict is supposed to be clubbed in uh, next as all uh, they're planning to scrap all the exams and just to have a one exam so if that happens then definitely as in inict aims as a upper hand because we uh, even registered through the aims portal and the questions are also more of a aims kind of uh, scenario, scenarios so even in next exam don't be surprised if you get more of a aims kind of question so when i say aims kind of question more of a clinical based scenarios so this is what we are expecting in upcoming uh, 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 like next exam now there is a question in the minds of uh, student because what earlier used to happen that basic sciences had a very uh, huge role because uh, nearly more than 50% of the uh, questions uh, from neat pg exam you can solve from the knowledge of your basic sciences but now suddenly as i said in the earlier slides that uh, the 50 10% questions will be from the basic sciences so what is the role of important sci- uh, basic sciences and can we say that importance of basic sciences has been decreased in uh, this particular exam pattern so i'll say no because these exam actually they form the foundation of all the subject so you cannot uh, improve your accuracy and you cannot have command on your clinical subject unless and until you have a command on basic sciences second thing you have so many questions i mean earlier you have to in the neat pg and inct you have to just solve 200 300 questions but now you have around 540 mcqs and you know <clears throat> you cannot segregate there is no line that this question is from anatomy and this question is from surgery there is no line that this question is from pharma or this question of medicine so there is always a overlap 
so you will have to give importance to the basic sciences you cannot neglect basic sciences because basic sciences will still form the foundation of your preparation so i uh, this is my strong opinion and i think most of uh, you will agree that uh, basic sciences will form the uh, foundation now three subject that have are going to be the uh, i mean uh, change they are going to change the things as they, uh, they have been given a separate importance and i think they are going to be the rank deciding subject they are ent ophthalmology and pediatrics as from medicine and allied subject you get 120 questions but alone from ent you get 60 questions so definitely that's a half question from a subject that is even smaller than these all allied subject combined so definitely these subject are going to give you a upper hand so studying ent ophthalmology and pediatrics and giving them their due respect is uh, going to be very important so these subject are going to be deciding in your uh, rank so and uh, what will be the impact of three day exam as we have three day exam so what we expect the three day exam so it's a kind of as i say it will be a kind of you will feel like a uh, marathon uh, kind of uh, preparation so what is what is happening here so as you will have a three days exam one day you will write around 60 180 questions then you will come back home so usually what happens we used to have a single day single window paper so we will give everything like we'll use all the brains and everything and then we'll come home exhausted and then we'll sleep and party next day but now we don't have that scene we have to come back and then prepare for the next paper so similarly like what we give uh, in our uh, ug days so you will have multiple papers one after another so that kind of thing so it will not have that much impact and i think one advantage i can say about this is that if you make any mistakes in the first day if you are not very familiar with the, this kind of uh, exam at least you can improve those in the next day so because a lot of times what happens that your time management uh, i mean it is it gets screwed up in the first uh, first try first day so you can do that improvement in the uh, second days that is one added advantage what i feel uh, for this exam but that is a system as they are trying to change the pattern so that we have to be ready for now my next uh, uh, what i want to tell that why starting early getting good score in next in first attempt is important so those students who have entered their uh, MBBS and those run they are preparing. So ultimately, uh, earlier this exam, uh, everybody used to prepare for NEET quiz. But now, even exit is there. You cannot exit without writing an exam. And the questions will be mostly from all the subjects. So starting early is very important if you want to get through this exam. But why uh, getting a good score in first attempt is important? Because what, what is happening? Because of the structure of the exam. So you have a next one. Then you have internship and they have, then you have next two. Let's say if you don't get a very good score in next one, but still you have to prepare for the next two, which is more of a clinical based and you have to do your internship also. The idea of next two is because a lot of students, they skip internship. They skip internship and they just study for uh, PG entrance examination. The idea of keeping next two at the end of internship is uh, students will do their internship seriously. They will learn practical things and then they will be examined. They will be screened before giving them the licensing. Now, if you keep preparing for next next uh, next one, that is going to be after your internship. If you are uh, trying to, if you are planning to write it again because your score was not good, it will be difficult for you to concentrate on two types of exam. Like one is uh, practical based, one and theory theory based. So again, you will have a risk of not getting a great rank, and again, you will have to give extra attempt after that. So that is why if you get a very good rank in next one, then you will be very, you can enjoy your internship. You can learn as many things as you can. You will have, not have that burden of going to class, I mean, studying for PG and worrying for uh, PG entrance. And you will solely uh, concentrate on the learning that you want. And you will be knowing that which branch you are going to get and which branch you are planning to do. So doing that posting, you can literally give your everything in that posting and you will know the pros and cons of all the branches. So when you give your next two, you'll be very clear what branch you want to take and you'll be uh, prepared. So that is why I feel that uh, if even if you are an intern or even if you are already intern or even if you are an MBBS student who in the final or final year, this is very good time to start uh, preparing. So that is all I want to say that all uh, we would be expecting from the next uh, exam. In my next video, I'll talk about uh, planning that how to formulate a timetable for next and uh, what should be our approach. So if you have any question, uh, let me know in the comment section and I wish you all the best and take care.